And the wheel just keeps on turning Sometimes the words don't rhyme But I'm still here trying to say One life at a time Okay, this is where we get beautiful here. What would be the most beautiful outcome of a change of heart? Both of We're here today and... to collaborate with a songwriter who is here to join us to talk about the experiences during COVID. That sounds like a chorus to me. Oh, all the stuff I see I try to leave it all behind Still it follows me Everyone has an experience, everyone has a story to tell, and those stories need to be heard. These things, these moments, these flashes, these memories, when does it catch up with you? At night, I, sometimes I'll lay in bed and just think about my patients and where they're at and did they ever recover. You just never forget about them. If I have a staff member who's having a bad day or, or lost a family member, whatever it is, I'm there for them to come in and talk to me, so I take that stuff with me. It truly put a new perspective, <laughs> I think. Yeah, so out of something terrible, yeah. you think you've become better people. Absolutely. It's really powerful. I really appreciate now decisions that are made, how it impacts people on the ground, and just to hear the stories firsthand. You, you work together as a team to take care of these patients in the best way that you can. No matter how little staff you have, you do the best that you can. So for two years, we've been running like that. And the two years is catching up. We were able to, to say, this is how this has affected me. This, the last two years has, has changed me as a person. It's so hard to put into words what we do because we try to protect the people that don't see it. So I think we want people to see what we're going through every day, but we don't want them to go through the hurt and the anger and the sadness. I think some of it also is the lack of kindness. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna judge you or treat you differently if that's your, your views, you know, whether you choose to vaccinate or not, but then you need to take the precautions to protect yourself and those around you. When it rains, it pours. What else is coming after this? High-level anxiety, frustration and tears Trying to heal the pain up against the wall Doubt, anger and fear Sitting there holding someone's hand while they die and they're 10, 12 years younger than you, it's just not fair. People don't change their heart until they're on a, about to get on a ventilator or then that's finally when they realize it's real is when they're, they're faced with, you know, their demise. Hoping for a change. Hoping for a change of heart. Wondering if today is the day I can finally start. To be able to kind of, to process what you're experiencing and, and, and to, to put your thoughts out there and, and to have it acknowledged in this way uh, is, is a really unique experience. What have you seen, uh, simple words about what this has meant, these last two years has meant, like these people that you've seen? I mean, I know we can't bring comfort like a loved one would or friend or family would, but we've got to do our best to. You're holding on to your arms like they're holding on to Rick's arms. They're... You're all they got at the moment. It's just hard, you know, trying your best and walking out of work without a sense of uh, accomplishment because there's just so many sick people and there's so few of you guys and you can only do so much. When you're in the middle of a crisis like we are with COVID and you just feel so isolated. You don't think about how everybody else in other departments are coping and dealing with things. You just kind of feel like, well, you're all alone in this little bubble when actually everybody's basically feeling the same thing. We're all going through this together. I, I have days when the pressure and the sadness and the anger won't Wait. Sometimes you get yourself, how come I, it seems like I'm feeling beaten down when my peers aren't. We all are. Don't hold it in. A lot of us have held things in for too long and it, it's good to get it out. Do you feel valued? Being in supply chain, I view my role as behind the scenes. Because without you, it would be a lot more challenging for them to do their work. We couldn't have done anything without PPE, man. Right. 
Well, that's the uniqueness of medicine, right? Like, not one person can do it by themselves. You need a teamwork approach. I think we stepped in each other's roles a little bit more than we're used to, but I don't think that we do it enough. Like, I don't think that we hear each, the team members enough. You know, where we say, oh, you know, what the nurses go through, they're heroes. I, I mean, I know they're heroes, but to hear it come out of them and everybody else that works there, it's really hits home. It really does. The winds are so, the winds that we have good. are so good. Right. That's our therapy. That's what keeps us doing it. I, I don't think for a long time we were sharing those moments because I think we were afraid to find any hope with those. The winds that we have upstairs, we look to hear their voices. We can't wait to get them off that ventilator once they, the ones that survive. Mm -hmm. And we tell them we can't wait to hear your voice, because that's what we want to hear. A little less division and a lot more joy, understanding and peace. These times have shaken me to the core, and we all need a little relief. To be able to share their experiences, and to also recognize that they are not alone, and that we can all identify with each other, and the struggles that we've had over the last two years, but also the strength that we've built. That connection is critically important for us to heal going forward. Oh, hoping for a change of heart.